guest of honor, but I can't believe he put me in front of the mic and expect me to post it. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> before I introduce you, I have a couple things. Um, first of all, on behalf of every Navy counselor in the Navy, thank you. So uh, many ceremonies, and uh, all, all have a certain script. Sorry, I'm drinking some water. Allergy. <laughs> and part of it, <laughs> that is different. <laughs> that is different is how you talk about your 20 years in the Navy, and that makes it different. You have to follow certain scripts. But this is something special, uh, especially to whom this is dedicated. And that makes it really special. Much of this talk can now easily be posted on, on Facebook, on our Facebook page, and the talk about it in front of this many good people that showed up. But I'll do both to accommodate most of my friends who couldn't make it, especially that you know over 16 years in, in California, 19 years in the West Coast, and uh, in other parts of the world. I just want to express. Uh, this history and my thank you and how we completed this 23 years, this amazing adventure. These are all for you. Uh, about three to six months before I joined the Navy, you listed the things uh, winter of 90, if there's such winter in the Philippines. I was working with American Express as a travel uh, clerk, financial, and uh, 
after that, I was looking for a promotion. I applied for a bigger uh, job position. And I got accepted, and I also got accepted to join the SUBIC uh, uh, program to have joined the enlisted side. So now I'm torn between these two jobs. And uh, so I asked my dad, uh, he wrote it up, and he said, uh, do you want dollars or pesos? <laughs> so he even consulted a, a palm reader or a psychic. <laughs> and the psychic said, oh, I see your son uh, traveling across the world wearing whites. Uh, he's going to be a great doctor. <laughs> but but I, I, I work with financial decision. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be an economist. But so it's in history. Uh, so lesson learned. I'm going to incorporate some lesson learned for the younger troops, part of a counseling session for you guys. So first lesson is don't consult the psychic. <laughs> it's a sin, right, Pastor? It's a sin. Uh, see, they're, they're not even accurate. Okay, so no, I'm wearing points. I hope the psychic saw this part. <laughs> During my oath taking in Subi, uh, it was the first and last time that I had, I saw my mom and dad together because they were divorced. There's no divorce in the Philippines, but they separated, they went back and remarried and stuff like that. Uh, because they separated when I was five or six years old. That's the first time I saw them again, and the last time I saw them again uh, in, together in photo. Uh, it wasn't on that clip, but it's on the other clip that will be posted later on social media for my man that has showed up for my oath taking uh, in a photo while they both uh, witnessed it in January of 91. Notice I mentioned about the lesson learned, take a job because of money, that won't last. Because I got out halfway through my Navy career because I took the Navy's job as support of money. And I didn't have passion, so halfway through I got out. But we'll go back to that story. Fast forward, my first tour was with the USS Independence uh, Carrier uh, home port in Yakuza, Japan. Two years where I experienced amazing places like uh, Australia, Dubai, when it was just sand and mosque. You know, amazing how Dubai turned out now. Uh, I remember that. Being forward deployed in Japan uh, is when I started to appreciate uh, other cultures in Asia. And there I also met uh, Lelaine. Uh, Jose's family and Joyce and Little, thanks for coming over. It's been a great time in Japan. And those others who couldn't make it, a lot of them are either you know, in Hawaii or somewhere in the West Coast. They said the West Coast is cooler than the East Coast. Uh, so they didn't follow, so they're wrong. This is the best kept secret. <laughs> I'll talk more about that. There I, also, uh, there I also met my half-sister who couldn't make it today. Um, I have to mention her because we haven't met for 26 years and had the first time we met her in Japan. That's where we also had our meeting reunion uh, when my dad and brother uh, went on board a Tiger cruise, uh, went underway for three days from Hong Kong to Japan. That was a highlight because my dad met a few ambassadors and vice president or Walter Mondale. Uh, Anyway, it's not on my speech. Lesson two, those uh, younger sailors, here I am counseling, okay? Overseas in relationship, uh, or overseas duty and relationship with other cultures opens your mind and help you empathize with diverse people and other nationality because, you know, um, I guess uh, I was gonna mention here, but it's not here. Uh, if you're uh, in that community, you will appreciate their personality stuff, so go overseas, okay? Uh, from Japan, I transferred back to Ventura County uh, in California with the CBs, NMCB-5. That's when I discovered I was at home in CBs. Um, and I love CBs, got my first two home there because I thought I was in a homestead. And that's where I grew up as a sailor. Completed my master's and became sailor of the year, and I was at PSD, Point Magoo and Port Wayne, and um, joined the reserve. I got out, you know, I became hard headed and said I can do it. I got out, joined the second brigade of the CBs also. Um, during that course of time, I was finishing my divinity courses, uh, and so uh, they accepted me on the chaplaincy program at the Air Force. 
unfortunately, I, you know, I said, I don't think I'm going to be uh, a youth pastor or, or a chaplain. So uh, I went back to the CDs, back to active duty. And I, that's when I started learning my passion is for sailors and becoming a sailor again because I missed those deployments. Uh, so I went back. Uh, Thanks to my compadre, uh, Chris Dye, couldn't make it, and keeps on insisting, you gotta go back to the Navy. And that's when I started to realize, you know, I'm an advocate for staying Navy, I became a counselor. Um, so, lessons learned for you guys. Uh, have a backup job if you, uh, and be passionate what you do. This is when I go back to my first story, don't take it for the money. Take, it, take the job because you love it, you have a passion for it and be passionate about what you do, okay? If you lose that passion, you're actually working, okay? Have a backup job and join the reserve. And then when I came back to uh, active duty with the CBs again, I requested for that specifically to stay uh, in Fort Wayne in NMCB 40. They sent me right away to Spain for that eight month deployment. And that's when, during that transition, when I was in reserve, that's where I met my, my lovely wife. Uh, we actually met on America Online, that's the first social media. <laughs> and uh, she won't send me the picture, she wants to get to know me or get to know her first. So we met in the chat room, we discovered how many things we had in common. And, uh, and found out we, we went to the same university, same building, you know, for, what, ten, uh, five years back? So, uh, who knows if I have bumped her in the 88th or 89th. We continued to love texting uh, when I was in Spain. And while I was there, we planned a wedding, but 9-11 uh, uh, happened, and so there were restricted uh, restrictions on, on going overseas, so that was ganked. And instead, I asked her to come over to the States. Uh, so, lessons learned, maybe uh, you guys should take advantage of social media or something. Like this. <laughs> but use the good of technology, not the bad, okay? And there are some goods on it, okay? Back then, it was America Online, but, you know. So, uh, I actually got married uh, with her a week after I picked her up from LAX while I was in NC school, because I couldn't wait. Um, well, I, I, I was in Navy A school. Uh, uh, Navy Counselor A School, I sneaked her on the Navy Lodge and, uh, you know, one week prior to graduation. We had a simple wedding after the graduation, uh, and we had the after reception at the San Diego Animal Park, with some friends from Fort Wayne Navy came over. <laughs> I then got orders back to, again, I requested to be with the CVs, but they, they said you have to go back to VAW 116 Hawkeye in Point McGill, the same area. That's my first Navy counselor tour. Uh, my son came about uh, three months before my eight month deployment uh, on board USS Lincoln. It was uh, Miles more most challenging ordeal. Being less than a year in the US, he doesn't know any much, much uh, anybody over there, plus she has to take care of my mom. Uh, my baby Sam, uh, considering she was also the ombudsman for my squadron, it's about 250 personnel. Uh, she did a, a, a good, a good job. You know, that is one great example of a wife sacrifice, instead uh, of a sailor's wife sacrifice. So, what do you think is the lesson there? Uh, network with the uh, and network, develop friendship outside of. Uh, your Navy family, maybe outside your, you know, the community, the church, school, community group. In my wife's case, with uh, every chamber of commerce, uh, she was, uh, she's a businesswoman now, and a spouse group, things like that. So that that should help the burden, you know, the burden of uh, your boy and husband. I was then promoted to chief one year after I checked in with the uh, Naval Submarine Support Facility in Groton. Uh, Again, when I moved there, I thought that was the best kept secret, also. But we love Groton, you know, considering the snow, so we bought our, our second home there. But uh, again, this is our first coast to coast move, and it became an exciting 
tradition for us, you know, so I don't mind being moved by the Navy because we take advantage of those coast to coast move uh, to see the uh, Americana. Um, so I think we only haven't seen three states, two states. So, so far we did the more coast to coast move, uh, different routes. Uh, take advantage and time given to you. That's one of the lessons learned. You know, there are time for you to enjoy. Um, take advantage of that. Use your uh, benefits uh, maybe in the Navy wisely. So, uh, back, I thought I was going to settle in Broughton, try to get orders to Rhode Island. Uh, so I said, no, you have to go back to California as, uh, because this will help your promotion. There's an ISIC job there. So back to California, but this time in Lemoore, California. Okay, and you know what that place is, right? <laughs> For four years, and that's one of the uh, one of the best deployment I had on board USS Nimitz. Uh, develop a network of friends in the Central Valley community. Um, but then after that four years, uh, Sam said because uh, and the wife's network, we have to move back to the East Coast. When got accepted for another uh, uh, typhoon, this time a typhoon duty with the military seal uh, command for my last active duty tour. And this is how I ended up in Norfolk and uh, Virginia Beach. I'm so grateful to have earned uh, the relationship of most of you here uh, within this short period of 16 months uh, here in Hampton Roads. With that in mind, uh, we, we kind of decided uh, two weeks ago when we found this home that Virginia Beach is going to be our official home. When they asked, that, where are you from, Virginia? <laughs> Instead of saying California, so I need to get my plate uh, replaced in August. <laughs> because California is very bad in uh, taxing me. And, uh, and it's cheaper here, so. And uh, I can be closer to all of you guys, you know, okay? So, officially, but I still, I, I'm saving for that last, uh, we didn't use the Navy move yet, so I still have a year, you know, for the maybe dream job in New Orleans or <laughs> somewhere. So, no? Okay. So my priority now is probably just to look a job somewhere in Little Creek, you know, so I just have to bike to my work, because yeah. <laughs> I hate driving, you know, long drive, so I have to stay finding a job within five mile radius for my home. <laughs> so, whatever job, okay? I already applied for a gym custodian uh, somewhere in Virginia Beach. <laughs> but we still have a year to use that uh, move. Um, and after that 23 years of moving, uh, it's time to close this chapter of my life. This speech will continue online. I still have to discuss what's my plan for 23 years and what I've learned in 23 years. I hope to dialogue with you guys as I depart this great organization uh, to learn uh, from you guys who's been there and done that. You know, civilians, uh, mentors. Uh, we have a few who couldn't make it. The RBs, they said they're coming. <laughs> but uh, fortunately, uh, you, you guys know who you are. Uh, continue to seek your guidance uh, from your accumulated wisdom and for those who's been there. Considering I've been doing a lot of pre-separation counseling, you know, for the past 10 years, I really needed some uh, transitioning counseling myself. And right, embassy, you could tell, I'm, you know, this transitioning is really, you know, it's, it's hard, it's not easy, okay? Uh, I thought it was. It's not, so help me God. Now that I've told my story, time to recognize how I got here and those who inspired me. Um, uh, uh, to my mom and dad uh, for not being here. Sorry you couldn't make it today because of your distance and situation. Uh, to my mama, who is in California, thanks for those powerful prayers uh, for me. Uh, to my papa, living in the Philippines, thank you for teaching me to work hard and enjoy traveling and hiking in those dangerous places in Manila. Please get well soon. And um, to my son, Sam, my nine-year-old, who takes 
scare of mom and dad by being the best in school. And uh, here's what you've been asking for months. I know that is being stingy, but I want you to learn, you know, the way. But uh, I've got something for you. The MCGC, remember? The Minecraft gift card. He wants to have another account, so, and this is for you, and also your your high-tech uh, Pegasus uh, uh, 4D. So, <laughs> I finally found out, because I tried to go to fresh and easy to get the MCGC card, they don't have it, so I have to scout it through somewhere. <laughs> and so with all this changes going through, uh, our, I've been married for maybe 10 years next, next month. Um, oh, 11. Thank you. 